one. If you fancy a chat, give me a buzz. Wow, that was fast. Hello, Buzzy. I'm Isabel, buzzing you from Brisbane, Australia. Hello there. How can we help you today? I have a small problem. My best friend Jane has asked if I will go with them on their sailboat. Oh, that sounds more like a fun thing than a problem. But my other best friend Heidi has asked me if I want to go scooter riding with her. I can only do one and I don't want to hurt either of their feelings. Oh, I see what you mean. Which one appeals the most to you? Well, probably the scooter riding. You see, I get awfully seasick. But I don't want to let either of them down. I'm buzzy, what am I going to do? Hmm. Okay, listeners, this is a hard one. Please buzz in if you can help. You know, we could work out a solution from Oscar. He had a problem he didn't know how to solve recently. What happened? Ah, now that is a tale worth telling. Oh, painting! I love painting! I wish I had something to paint. Why don't you paint your library, Oscar? It could do with brightening up. Hey, yeah, but which colour should I use? Purple is a lovely colour. Or there's yellow. Or blue. Both lovely colours too. Well, yeah, they are, but oh, how will I ever decide? There are too many lovely colours to choose from. Well, mm. why don't you take a walk around Rolling Downs? Ask a few others which colour they think would look nice on the library. Oh, great idea, Buzzy! <laughs> hi, Oscar. Oh, hi to you too, Mary Lou. Have you heard? I'm going to paint the library. That sounds fun. What colour are you going to paint it? Well, I really don't know, actually. There's too many colours. Purple, yellow, duckling, green... Oh! I could have sworn... Green. I think green would be the perfect colour for your library. Green! Oh, that's a great idea, Mary Lou. Everyone loves a green meadow, so why not a green library? Turtle pip. <laughs> Duckling coloured. He's funny. <laughs> Oscar, what brings you calling? I'm about to paint my library, oh, so... Oh, really? Well, well, I guess you'll be painting it red, like my truck. Well, yes, I... I, I red? All the best things are red. I promised Mary Lou to paint the library green, but... OK, Driver Don, red it is then. Great. See ya. Glad to be of help. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. What to choose? Oh, I don't know what to do, Buzzy. I seem to have promised Alligator that I'd paint the library orange, and I promised Dorable Duck that I'd paint it blue, and Driver Don that I'd paint I it red. I can't green. wait to see the green library. <laughs> Oscar promised it would be red, like my truck. Oh, no. Orange. Oh, see, Buzzy, what am I going to do? I think I have a plan, Oscar. Ahem. <clears throat> If you all come along to the library after morning tea, you'll be in for a lovely surprise. Time to get buzzy busy. <laughs> OK, OK, everyone. You can turn around on the count of three. One, two, three. Wow! I can see green! And red! I can even see orange! And my favourite, pink! Oh, wow. Wow. <laughs> Today was a big day, with lots of big decisions. So, now it's time we all relaxed, while I read everyone one of Rolling Downs' favourite stories. Not that one, Oscar. Read The Picture Book of Monster Trucks. No, no, read Who's Afraid of the Big Bad Duck. Oh, oh, Oscar, the wheel's on the trike. Yeah, yeah. Oh, no, not again. <laughs> you choose. <laughs> I can't remember which story Oscar chose in the end. I'm sure it was brilliant anyway. Well, if you really like The Picture Book of Monster Trucks, yes. Adorable. Ah. Oh. What's that smell? Ah, uh, 
That will be my rotten seaweed cheesecake. No, thank you, Dorable. No, oh, that's perfectly all right, Buzzy, as this is for Ellie, actually, her favorite. I made this one for you. Fruitcake, my favorite. <laughs> thank you, Dorable. That's not the only reason I popped in, however. I heard Isabel talking about her dilemma. Can you help, Dorable? Well, I think so. You see, in that lovely story about Oscar and the painting of the library, I still think pink was the best colour. You, Buzzy, helped with a wonderful combined solution. Everyone was happy. But you can't be in two places at one time, can you, darling? No, that's my problem. Which means you have to make a choice. Now, which is it, dear? A seasick ride in a boat or freewheeling on a scooter? Well, when you put it like that, I guess scooter riding sounds way more fun. But I don't want to hurt Jane's feelings. Just be honest, dear. If Buzzy hadn't been honest about his unexplainable dislike of my delicious cheesecake, I may have baked one just for him. Ugh. A good friend will totally understand about your seasick worries. And that, you see, will be an honest and thoughtful choice. Great. I feel better about explaining this to Jane. Thank you, Durable. Bye, Buzzy. Buzzy, bye. But you didn't expect to have the whole cake now, did you, Buzzy? I've left you with just one small choice. <laughs> hey, listeners, have you had to make some hard choices lately? I'd love to hear your own stories. So come along, kids, buzz me. I buzz me. <laughs> it's real easy for you to do. Go to rdr.tv! Yeah. Buzzy bye for now!